Looking to pay yourself in the most tax efficient way during 23-24? Well watch on. As a business accountant, my team and I spend all day long helping business owners on their journey. And one massive piece of that is helping them understand how best to take money from their limited company. So in this video, I'm gonna presume as always that you're a small business owner, you're most likely, or should be in the case of what I'm gonna talk about, the owner of the limited company, so the shareholder, and that you're the director as well. So you kind of run it and it's your thing. Now, before we get into it, if you like these type of videos, make sure to click the subscribe button and the bell below so you get notified whenever we release more videos just like this one. So then I'm not gonna do some massively detailed spreadsheet they're just going to trust me that this works out <laughs> but I'm going to give you the highlights of a couple of key levels of salary that are going to be really important this year now we're releasing this probably in around November 23 so this is relevant for the 23 slash 24 tax year so a bit of a recap in that your limited company may have a different year end to the personal tax year but you as a director when you're taking your money either in salary or in dividend as some of the profits you're going to get taxed based on your personal tax year which is from the 6th of April one year to the 5th of April the next. Now, I'm gonna say this a few times during the video, but we've done a ton of videos on dividends. There's some other videos talking about director's salary and why you might need those. So check all those videos out um, and it'll really help flesh out this one. But I wanted to talk to you about the level right now that you should be looking at in terms of salary. So generally, generally, for most people out there, you're gonna want, a, if this is your only deal, if all your income is from this company, you're gonna likely want some small salary so that's declared through what is known as a PAYE scheme, a payroll scheme, just like any other employed individual in the UK, right? You're just gonna be employing yourself, paying yourself a director's salary. I'm gonna to talk to you about what the best level is. So you're gonna do a tiny bit of that, and then the rest of it, hopefully, you can afford to pay the rest of it, it's gonna be in dividends and profits from your business or some other sort of way of taking money. But in this one, we're talking about the actual salary amount, what should that look like? So it's just in general terms, that's what you're gonna do. That also helps that small salary, helps you get a tick in the box for your state pension qualifying year. So it helps build up your state pension amount that you're gonna get, hopefully, <laughs> when you retire, whenever they decide to pay that to you. But for the actual salary, what is the, the best? Now, Always caveat, the best depends on your particular situation, what you've got in other income sources and everything else. But if we're talking about a solo director right now, coming out of a limited company, this is their only income, their only deal, generally what you will see is two different income levels uh, of this salary. You'll see one at 9,100, and you'll see one at about 12,570 pound a year. Now the reason I say about is uh, people, particularly like me, are quite like round figures, so I might not necessarily do all the pence that's involved in some of those figures, but generally it'd be one of those two salary numbers. Now the reason that is, is that it's a really good split. It's a good split between building that state pension record, getting a corporation tax deduction, so your company actually gets a reduction in its tax because it's paying salary, it's an expense like anything else. So you wanna pay some salary to maximize that. It's also a balance of using your personal allowance. So right now at the time recording, most people in the UK, UK taxpayers, will get 12,570 pound tax free uh, in a year. So uh, surprise, surprise, one of those salary levels is at that amount. So you're trying to get a balance between maximizing that and getting a tax deduction in the company. And again, without the spreadsheet, normally um, a bit of this kind of smaller salary and then the rest in dividends for a lot of people is gonna be a really good way of drawing that money out quite tax efficiently because the dividends don't have any national insurance associated with them. They have a different type of income tax, which is lower than that. So, uh, but again, loads of videos on that one. Now, why these two levels then? So we spoke about generally why those two levels, um, but how do you know which one's right for you? Well, apart from the fact that it is down to where you sit in your circumstances, mathematically, the higher one, the roughly 12 and a half grand one, is gonna be the best one for the tax year. However, it comes with a slight downside, and for that uh, reason, you're probably gonna to wanna to pay yourself quite often the smaller one. And that's the, the top level, you will pay some employer's national insurance. So the business has to pay national insurance on your wages. It's one of the reasons why you don't often pay all of your wages through the business. Because I said to you, the uh, company will get a tax deduction on your salary. So the instant thought will be, well, why don't you just pay it all in salary then? But it's because you pay employer's national insurance on your own salary. So not only would you pay individual national insurance over a certain limit, you'd also pay employer's national insurance, which at the time recording is 13.8%. So it's a significant bill that you end up paying. Now, the company starts paying that on your salary at over 9,100 pound. So the reason 9,100 is quite good in this year is because up to that limit, you're not gonna pay any employer's national insurance or any of your own national insurance. You won't pay any of your own national insurance at the roughly 12 and a half grand level, but you will pay a little bit 
um, on the amount but over 9,100. Now, again, tax efficiently, that all still works out that that's actually mathematically the best thing to do. But a lot of owners just can't be bothered with making those small payments, remembering to pay them, having to declare it through. I mean, you have to declare the lot through payroll anyway, but there's this extra thing to make sure that you pay and do, and people just can't be bothered a lot of the time because it is really a tiny, tiny amount. So if that's you and you think, I just want hassleless, hassle-free, the lower level is likely to be the one, even though it's slightly less efficient. So for example, if you took about 40K from your company out in the efficient salary and dividend levels, you might pay an overall tax rate of about 18, 19%. Um, and as I say, the difference between the, the 12 and a half ish and the nine ish is not vast enough for you really to worry about. You're still gonna have a really good effective rate of tax if you take into account the corporation tax and the personal tax and everything you paid. 18, 19% seems pretty reasonable to me. So there you go, there's the two best salary options that you have this year, but it is really, really dependent on your situation. So if you've got other income, you can probably throw this out the window. Um, so do get it checked out with a professional if you wanna know exactly what's best for you. But generically, these are often the levels that people set themselves. Please do leave any thoughts and comments below and I'll get back to you. And of course, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.